In this lesson, we're going to begin to start writing some JSON formatted data. So as we've looked at in the previous lesson, so we did get a quick glance at what JSON looks like, and this is some typical JSON data, and we can see here that the data is broken apart by names and values. So these are what's known as paired uh, paired data. So we've got our name over here, and then we've got our value that's attached to it. And the way that this is going to work within JSON and JavaScript is that we can call to first name and we can return a value of John. And the same thing for last name and so on. And then here we've got address. So all of this all of this object information is contained within address and it's got some additional paired values within address. So we could do address and then we could do city and return back New York. And that's the overall basic structure of how JSON is presented. Uh, so we've got these curly brackets, so opening up and uh, this gives us the ability to hold objects. Uh, if we're using square brackets, of course, this is hol holding array information. And all of this data gets separated via commas. So these, uh, these are separate pieces of data because it's comma separated. So we see that we've got our first name, comma, last name, comma, is alive, comma, age, comma. And then when we have these larger objects that contain additional uh, paired values, uh, so the format still remains the same, but we do curly brackets to hold that object information. And we see there we've got our comma again, and over in phone numbers, so we've got an array here of, um, of, of information under phone numbers. But again, we see that breaking apart of all those different pieces of data using commas. And the same thing for children. So children's just an empty array there, but it's the same format as phone numbers. And then we also see this, uh, these paired values that are inside of the address object that we see that they're also separated by commas. And then the same thing would go if you had additional levels down, um, additional nested objects within this parent object, uh, you would just simply follow that same format. We do curly brackets, uh, enter in all those objects and separate them out via comma. And then also looking at the way the data is presented. So we're not using equal signs. We're using the colon to separate out the name and the value. So this is the format that we're using. And we always need to provide a name uh, and then also a value. So if we want to leave a blank value, we would still have to have something there as a placeholder in order to provide that blank value. So see here down here, we've got null. Uh, so instead of just skipping it and not having that paired value, uh, we do provide it with null. Uh, and we can also see within this example that we've got all the different types of va JSON values that uh, we can use. So we've got our number values here, or number value up here. So these aren't actual number values. These ones here, these phone numbers, are simply strings because uh, we do contain some characters outside of numbers. So age is uh, the only true uh, number value here, so it can be an integer or floating point. Uh, and then all of these strings, so predominantly it's strings here, uh, and strings are just uh, indicated with double quotes around them. Uh, we also have Boolean values, so is alive as a Boolean value, so that can obviously be either true or false. So you only have the two options for Boolean values. Uh, we've got an example of an array here. So phone numbers is an array, uh, contains an array of uh, information. Uh, so we see that with the square brackets and then of course the object. And then lastly, uh, we've got null uh, in order to hold blank, blank data. So that's the overall structure of how JSON works. And um, when we look at JSON arrays, uh, we see that it can actually contain multiple objects. So even though this is an array here, these are objects that are being contained within that array. And um, that's the way that uh, we can work with it. So depending on how, what the best format is, 
uh, we might want to use uh, objects and we might want to use arrays. So whatever uh, makes sense for representing the data uh, in the format that we're actually going to try to pull that out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this data as our data in the upcoming lesson in order to illustrate how we can actually pull data out of uh, JSON and represent it within JavaScript. So pull it out in a useful format. Uh, so if we want to get address, city, New York, and return back these values. Um, and we're going to be doing that within, J within JavaScript. So that's coming up in the next lesson.